so that it won't get a little bugger. Uh, Applebee's. Come back from Applebee's? Yeah, I had a drink. Now, now. My dad is, um, uh, Charlie. Charlie. Who's that? Charlie. Charlie, okay. 21 year old Teresa says that her dad is an officer with the local PD, possibly hoping that he'd come and get her out of the situation. On the 28th of December, 2022, a witness had observed a white vehicle strike a traffic light and then quickly drive off. A part of the vehicle's bumper had fallen off in the road after the hit. Applebee's, right? You went through the plaza, you came out by Lowe's, by Chick fil A, you made the right near the traffic light right there. Okay. Did you hit that pole that's over there? No. You hit the utility pole? Yeah, anything. Because your bumper's in the yeah, middle no. of the road. No, my, um, I hit the... How long ago? Uh, like, about a month ago, my ex's. Okay. Because he broke up with me and I broke up with him. And All right, go hang about back over there. Keep your hands okay. in your pockets, please. It's okay. Your bumper's in the road over there. Okay, did you just hit that pole? No, I promise you I did not. No? So if someone brings that bumper over here, it's not going to match up perfectly. You're coming from Applebee's, you're telling me. You went out that way. Everything's matching up. Witnesses said they saw a white car cross over in this direction, and I happen to find your car parked here with no with no bumper. What's that for? Can you bring her bumper here with you? All right, hang out. You cut through the plaza. You came out by Lowe's and Chick-fil-A. Did you hit the traffic pole that's no, right there? I hit the traffic pole. Do you not remember hitting a traffic pole? I did not hit the traffic pole, I promise you. Can I call my dad who's the sheriff's officer? Let the one officer come here. Who's, who's if the bumper found at the scene matches the damage on Teresa's car, surely that puts her at the scene. That's great, you can spend the traffic pole. We just caught you at a lot. Can you tell me you found this piece off by the traffic light by Lowe's? You said you, that piece fell off in Pennsylvania. I told, I told you hit a deer. You told me a whole bunch of stories. I hit a deer at Pennsylvania. Can I ask my dad? Please. That one? So it's the one on the corner. On the corner? So if you're coming this way? Yeah. Hazel Road? Yeah. On the corner. Yeah. If you were to go to that guy's yeah. for Lowe's? Yeah. It's the one right before that end. So way after Applebee's, did you hit a t traffic pole? I think I hit something. I remember hitting something. You can't miss it. It lights up. It's red, green, and yellow. I remember hitting something after Applebee's. Okay. Saying, like, and did you drive away because you're scared because you had maybe had one drink and you think you're drunk? Yeah. And you might get arrested, but you don't seem like you're drunk? Yes. Is that what's going on? Probably. Your dad, the sheriff's officer, wasn't driving your vehicle tonight. Didn't I, hit a, I hit a curb. You hit a traffic signal. No, I hit a curb. Yeah, you went up the curb. You hit the traffic signal, the traffic signal fell down, and you left. In just this one short conversation, Teresa admits that she did hit something, that she's more intoxicated than they realized, and that she was texting while driving. Three driving faults that can each come with their own punishment. The detectives decide to speak with her father. So right now, Expecting him to try and make excuses for his daughter, the cops get nervous. Despite John's willingness to help the officers out, the sergeant at the scene asks him not to get involved to guarantee the integrity of the investigation. Suspicions that Teresa hasn't told the whole truth were confirmed after some field sobriety tests. Teresa was driven to the police station where her blood alcohol level was tested. It came back as 0.17% over twice the legal limit. Teresa has been issued a court summons for driving under the influence, reckless driving, and failure to report a car accident.